Good morning and welcome back to my blog. I still am a little bit groggy. I think it's from skiing. I think I just got too cold and it gave me the cold. I am in Yorkshire. I'm wearing the world's softest, most comfortable, amazing pyjamas. I have these in a few colours now and I'm obsessed with them. I am home, which I'm so excited about. It's so good to be home. We had a little sleepover with Matt's family, which was so nice. His mum got me a little hot water bottle and some fluffy slippers. Now we're at my family home and I have just been to a blaze class. It was amazing. My face is so itchy today. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I am so itchy. I need to like itch my entire face off. And I don't know why. I wonder if the moisturiser I've put on is like a bit old or something. But I used the same moisturiser last night. Like, wow, the itch. I'm going to do some wholesome things this weekend. I'm going to get my nails done first. And truly, these are perfect. They really don't actually need doing, actually. My thumb needs doing. But basically, I have a trip coming up. And I know that if I get my nails done at home, they will last me like four weeks. I have a trip coming up in like over a week, maybe two weeks, but I know that they'll still be fine. I can't resist my favourite manicurist when I come home, but I feel a bit sad because these are so perfect. So I got these ones done at Townhouse in London, and the girl I went to, oh my goodness, she's amazing. Just look at that colour. Just look how perfect they are. I'm genuinely, truly obsessed. I just know, Matt said to me, if you cancel the appointment today, by next week, you'll regret it and you'll say that you wish you had the appointment because I was like, these are gonna last like another two weeks, but it's a risk waiting for my trip. So, first world problems, I digress. I'm now gonna put some clothes on and get ready to drive over to Leeds today because that's where I'm going to get my nails done. I'm also getting my brows done. Now my brows really need doing, they are not the vibe right now. Maple is obviously here. I've got Easter treats and Easter happiness. I obviously need to get out of my pajamas, which is sad because I want to keep them on. <laughs> but let's do this. Can I just say the comments you guys leave on my videos make my day. So thank you so much if you leave a comment. Like I sit on a Sunday and I read the comments and I'm just like, you are so nice. I think I have the world's nicest YouTube subscribers because you just leave such nice comments. So thank you for spending your day with me. Let me know where you are in the world. Let me know what the weather's like. We kind of have nice spring blue skies today. So let's cross our fingers that that continues because we've had a lot of rain. So I need to get changed, get ready, go and show you Maple. So the sky was very blue. You can see a little bit peeking through here. I just texted Josie, I actually sent her a full video. Look at this wild garlic, so much wild garlic. She was like, go and pick it now. Go and make a garlic risotto or a garlic soup. There is so much wild garlic out here. I used to play that when I was younger and I just didn't realize that you could cook with it. Excuse the mess of my bedroom, but just a little, a little full look at the jammies. Um, oh my gosh, they're just so nice, you need to get them. And then this is my baby who Maple may have had a fight with and severed slightly. He's so cute though, isn't he? So yeah, I'm gonna get changed now. <laughs> he's called Nutmeg, by the way, and he's traveled the world with me. From Canada, my first ever flight to New York. He even got put in the washing in Jamaica and now he's not got any ear. His hand's a little bit sore and he did have a little bow, but he is so special and so perfect. I'm sorry that you're in the wars. Sun is back, yay! Mom has made her speciality. It's like a breakfast bar, but this time it's got cherries in it and blueberries because I had loads of fruit that was going to go off. So I was like, Mom, I'm bringing all the fruit. So we are using up all the fruit and I can't wait for a slice. Good morning. Oh my gosh, look at that tail and that face. You've got fans and they want you to say hello. Yes, look at those eyelashes and that nose. You are the most perfect girl on planet Earth, aren't you? Aren't you? We're going out shopping, darling. Are you coming or are you staying? Do you want to stay here? You're just going to chill them. Mm -hmm. You're not going to come with us. Look after my house, darling. Sleepy bear. Oh, 
how gorgeous my mum looks in her gorgeous coat and her gorgeous bag. Absolutely gorgeous. Drop dead hair coat. Oh, she's a vision. Literally obsessed with these um, quilted ones. They're so nice. I have not seen this slouchy version of the YSL clutch before, or this like hobo version. How gorgeous! That's so nice. Love it in the brown colour. Gorgeous. I've wanted this for so long, I feel like you should just bite the bullet and get it for October, autumn vibes. Just like Sally want me brought out a giant hobo bag. I kind of love it. It's huge. We've literally got such a great selection of cellar rock bags in here. They have like every single bag. <laughs> These are lovely beach bags from Coach. Very Chloe vibes. Time to go and get the nails done. Although I'm gonna miss them. I think I'm probably gonna go for something like identical because they're my favorite nails ever. This spot is so good for bubble tea if you come to Leeds. It's literally so cute and they do such good bubble teas. And this spot is really great for coffee if you come to Leeds, one of the best. And this is where I'm going for my nails and my brows. Okay, the four shot of the brows. They need some definition and they need colouring because they are feeling very sparse. It's waxing time. I feel like I don't flinch that much with waxing, but this one doesn't hurt at all. Now I've said that I'm gonna flinch. <laughs> it just doesn't hurt at all when you do it. Uh, this hot wax is like really gentle. Oh. I'm like, I, I get ready, I start to go to like, maybe flinch but it just doesn't. So do you do the facials as well? Yeah. It's so good, yeah, you said you do every treatment, so I assumed you meant the facials, but yeah. I never know if that's like a completely different segment. Just saying how gentle the waxing is, and it made me realise that threading, I think, is they just come up with the threading. And I don't even know if it looked that much better having them threaded. It did look the same, really. It's like it's basically the same thing. Like we're gonna get rid of all the hairs, regardless. Just obviously with the thing, you're pulling out one at a time. Oh, uh, so that's why. Yeah, whereas this, like, it's more of a strip. Very close to you, Bye-bye to the nails. been told that this is currently the best sandwiches you can possibly get and I don't even like sandwiches <laughs> but I bet these are good ones she's very speedy at making them Thank you so much. You're so quick at making those. I've never seen someone so efficient. Thank you. She was so efficient. I was like, wow. 
can't believe Leeds has a Pizza Pilgrims. This is so exciting. Pizza Pilgrims is so great. This is one of like the original best vegetarian restaurants. In fact, I think it might actually be vegan. It's all Indian food. And I'm pretty certain it was on the Michelin Guide, but need to go. And this spot apparently does really good matcha, so I'm gonna grab a matcha. What's it? Bye. Oh, Hi, Rue. You are so lovely. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I like this place even more now. <laughs> got my nails and we just went to a new coffee spot called Raw Coffee. They had a dog, which is always a bonus. He was called Rue and they were so nice. They were so passionate. I seen it on Instagram. I was like, I need to go. This is a Yuzu lemon match. They also had a blueberry one. So definitely go there if you're in these because they were just so sweet. Now we're going to go grab the sandwich and the sandwich place actually also does amazing donuts. I have a spot in London as well, but I'm going to go to the new one that's just opened in Leeds. And then we're heading to get a donut from here, which is apparently amazing. And it's actually the place that owns a sandwich shop I went to earlier. I knew that there was a falafel guy stall here. I literally love falafel wraps and salad bowls so much. I'm gonna have to come back and get this another time. Deep fried bowls of chickpeas and spices. I just love falafel and hummus. I used to work in here, Victoria Court. I spent many weekends working here. Oh, Penhaligans. That's what you can smell. Unless it's molten brown that you can smell, it just smells really good in here. Mom's taking me to see some gorgeous garden furniture. Wow, oh, we're here. All of my outdoor stuff is actually from here, which is so funny. Oh, I love that white chair. That's absolutely gorgeous. And I love this vase as well. And how funny that this is a store that I used to work at with Matt. This is where Matt and I's love story began. And then in the middle of the arcade, they have this gorgeous furniture that my mum is saying I should look at for my own garden. So they have a new store here. How gorgeous. into Neom for a second. It's such a nice store. Oh my gosh, this candle. I have this candle at home. It's such a good one. And then this Great Day Body Scrub is so nice. But the reason I wanted to come in was to get more of this. This is amazing. It's the magnesium body butter. And I love taking magnesium tablets every night. It really helps with my clenching of the jaw. But this is a magnesium body butter and I find the lavender one. It's like in a purple. It really helps me sleep. So I'm obsessed with this right now. Found it. So this is the one that I'm obsessed with. And it's got lavender in it, chamomile, and it's just so nice to make me sleepy. They have like this whole sleep range. They even have the magnesium bath milk as well. And now we go through John Lewis to get home. I just love that Leeds has this amazing shopping now. You can literally smell it from a mile off, Sol de Janeiro. I'm literally obsessed with this body butter at the moment. And this section just smells amazing. They've got all of their Easter things. I've never seen this before, but they now sell Waitrose inside John Lewis, I guess because it's the same company. And look, they have the sunny side Sam, which is so cute. They've got little speckled eggs. We even got this mini egg cookie mix and you just put it all in in one. I actually gave some of these to my neighbours. I thought they would make a really, really good gift. My favourite every year. They're like filled with caramel. So good. Obsessed. Everything is so cute. I just love Easter things. I think I'm going to have to get some Tony's eggs though. I absolutely love the salted caramel ones. I feel like I need to get some. I got this sandwich, which has gone a bit soggy actually, but it still smells good. So for dinner tonight, we're having a curry and it's mum's famous chicken curry. Although you can make it veggie, can't you? Absolutely. Mum did say, do you want a veggie one or do you want a chicken one? And basically, we are just prepping the vegetables. I say we, I'm watching, mum's prepping. Before we go on a walk, because are you just gonna simmer them while we're on the walk or something? No, no, no. You're just gonna have them ready, they're just prepared just lets it quicker when I get back. It's not a long 
because people ask me when I share this curry on Instagram, so I will show you exactly how my mum makes the famous curry. Yay! Lovely! It's a no chance. And it won't even I'm home. I've got fresh nails. I went super neutral. Laura is the best at nails. And I've got fresh brows as well. We went a little bit darker so they last for next week. And now I'm just putting a hoodie on and layering up because we're going on a walk. Maple did not want to come with us. <laughs> so my auntie came and looked after her for a little bit. And now we are going on a family little walk we're actually driving back to kind of near where we've just been it's really quite far but we need to come pick up maple so we can go on a walk it was raining but the rain has just cleared we've been in all of the different weathers today tried to eat my sandwich and it was a bit soggy because i think it had been heated and then put in the like paper so couldn't really eat it i mean i did take the tomatoes out so they were delicious i should have just eaten it in there really and not waited all the way till i got home did have the donut though and it was delicious had like um i'll put the video on screen from my phone it had like loads of um chocolatey cream inside it was very delicious so now i am gosh this is a lovely little knit that i've got on i'm wearing this with my jumper underneath yeah we're coming and we are going out on a nice little walk but let's hope for the rain stays at bay Doesn't she look good in that kite? Nice coat. Basically, I've just given mum all of my I stuff and she looks so good in it. She got so many coats. Hey, Maple! This dog absolutely hate the car. Oh, she's off. When she sees the car, she's like, no, I'm not getting in. No way. So we're back home and we've got farm shop chicken in here. The best farm shop chicken, my mum says. And we've got some veggies in here. Now we've got onion in the mix. So mum's just telling me about these sauces. You can get them in Harrods, I think, now. And it's basically, and on Ocado, it's one of the best restaurants in London, Jim Carner. And you can now cook at home and there's no nasties in it. So which one are you going to use? See, usually I'm really again choosing shop-bought sauces, but if there's nothing bad in them, then it's perfect. Tomatoes, unsalted butter, rapeseed oil, water, garlic, salt, coriander. There's some sugar in there, but you do sometimes need a little bit of sugar. It's one of the lowest ingredients down. It's basically got not got anything in it that you can't pronounce. Mm -hmm. So it's not got anything processed in it. Yeah, it's a very good store cupboard um, curry sauce. For like a lazy curry. A very authentic tasting. And now it's just simmering away. Good morning, my loves. It's another beautiful day in Yorkshire. I am going to a blaze pass, but I'm getting a little bit early, so I've got my headphones with me. Do a little treadmill walk first. My family are going to a park, to a park run. I'm not feeling it today because my shins are feeling a little bit shinny. I get really bad shin splints. Haven't had them for ages and feeling a little bit sore. I did quite a big run yesterday so maybe that's why so heading to blaze and then we are going to go for some brunch and pick up some more delights the nails are nailing the brows are browing let's do this morning tea time to get up so you're just wagging your tail here have you had a nice walk 
sleepy, sleepy bad today, aren't you? Good morning. Kisses, kisses for YouTube. my class I went to this spot which is apparently the best cinnamon buns da, da, da. oh my gosh look at this how delicious does that look cannot wait I bought some goodies we basically went to like a really lovely local shop and they sold so many gorgeous items inside so I got this cacao honey which is apparently like a chocolate spread and I got some hot honey I actually bought this for Emily because she loves it and then we got a cinnamon roll as well so we have been to some gorgeous places this afternoon so we have a wedding coming up and I have ordered so many dresses that I'm actually just going to do a little fashion show of and show my mum excuse the no makeup mum's also putting her wedding guest dress on which you can see on the day so this is the first one I've tried and we were just saying so on the website it said model wears size extra small has some stretch this dress has no stretch I have a really really wide back I have a broad back like an athletic back I'm proud of my back but it makes finding bras and dresses that don't have stretch on really quite difficult that's why I like reformation because it does have that stretchy back so this size is perfect for me this is a size small it's kind of like corset detail they also did this in a blue that I thought was really nice but it's a spring wedding it's a daytime wedding to nighttime so I think this with heels I'll probably wear it with my Jimmy Choo's just to kind of dress it up even more I feel like this is the perfect springtime dress what do we think okay this is obviously not for the wedding but how gorgeous is this I need to size up in it because it will not zip over my back but I got this one on sale and oh my gosh it's so nice I have a trip coming up and I feel like this will be so 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 perfect for my trip okay again the sizing is off anyone that says that these dresses have stretch in no no they're like full corsets with no stretch but this is so cute i've seen so many people wearing this and i just think it's really really nice in person maybe not made for wide back me though and the reason i love reformation dresses these aren't reformation i'll link them below but the reformation dresses are so great because they have a little stretch at the back that little stretch makes all the difference for people like me but this is such a beautiful dress. I'm not gonna wear this one for the wedding. I know that you can wear a white backdrop with like florals for a wedding, but I'm always scared. <laughs> I remember asking on a video, is this a thing? And apparently like it's fine, but I'm always scared. But this is gorgeous with the puff sleeves. This is just another one that I got on sale for my up and coming trip. Really cute. Again, the design is kind of like corset vibes. So well made, so much material. I thought this was quite cute with the little fastening at the front. I think I prefer the frilly one though, but I still think this is a nice dress. So I'm back in this one and obviously with hair, makeup, tan, heels, it looks different. Um, but it's so funny, I went downstairs to show the men and they were like, I just don't really like dresses that are flippy at the bottom. And mum and I are just laughing, saying like they're so princessy and whimsical. They are such man repellers. And I love that. Also, this is way more vibrant in real life. It's actually just a really cute, fun spring colour. And I feel like I could just wear it in the daytime with like cute little shoes as well. So I'm not 100% decided, but it's definitely an option. so cute in the gym this morning everyone was like dressed up as bunnies everyone was doing like family and children classes it was such a good easter vibe in there like my gym instructor literally had bunny ears on the vibes were high everyone was just like happy love it love a sunny bank holiday we're so lucky with the weather 
Happy Easter! Today we are just gonna relax. We were gonna go out for lunch with my granddad. We had big plans, but my granddad is not very well, so we can't do that. I'm gonna give my granddad a little FaceTime call and then I'll just come back soon to see him, but we can't see him right now, which is really sad. Um, because I literally came home to see my granddad because I was like, I want to come home for Easter to see him, but it's fine because I will catch up with him and see him again soon. So we're having a day at home, we're gonna go on some nice walks, have some nice food, and just have a nice relaxing day. I have been to the gym this morning, I've been to a blaze class, I'm feeling great, and then it's eggs all day. So let's go see how my little Easter bunny is doing. <laughs> So the dresses yesterday that I tried on, cute, right? Um, well, some of them didn't fit, but the pink one I quite like. My stepdad doesn't like it, but I think I like it. What do you think? I've ordered it in blue so I can see which colour I prefer. And now we are going to go out for a little walk, take maybe for a walk. I know yet to eat this today. How exciting. We've got two Easter chicks. <laughs> I know you thought I could smash it with my hand, no way. No, it's really. Oh, oh. actually, it's not that. It's got something inside it. Oh, it's, it's like, like a cake. It's oh, not wow. like a cake. It's like chocolate. Oh, it's got, it's like biscoff or cornflakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. What was inside the egg? It's kind of like a cornflakey biscoff. Honestly, it's addictive. Mum has been baking. Oh, oh my goodness. My favourite is too <gasps> Matt, you know what I'm going to do to them, right? I'm gonna take the top off. So Matt's mum's been baking and she's made us these cakes. How amazing. Can you hear them shouting down? They're too busy playing with maple. The best way to eat these is to just take the fondant and the top off them. <laughs> They're butterfly cakes. I've never seen chocolate butterfly cakes before though. Mmm, let me just stuff my face <laughs> with one of these. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> or some little treats that I got. Pixie skin treats. Oh my gosh, everyone is obsessed with Pixie. Look at this antioxidant tonic. So much good stuff in it. I cannot wait to try this. This brand is just so gorgeous and such a holy grail for so many people. This is really exciting. Firstly, some candles, but Elizabeth Arden have sent me some top ups of my favourites and they've also given me a promo code M20, means you can get 20% off everything on the Elizabeth Arden site. So go and get your eight tower cream, get these, they are amazing. I meant the capsules. Get the capsules, they are amazing. You probably remember Freddie and I swearing by them and then this one is a wart cream so I do a capsule and then the wart cream honestly so good but also they do a really good moisturizer that's an eight hour moisturizer for your whole body go and use a 20% off code because I'm really excited about that and cute little candles as well such a dream is that butter or cheese someone loves cheese and chutney don't they yes they do yes they do home from Yorkshire now that was such a nice weekend we were meant to see granddad we did have some more plans to show you on the vlog but unfortunately not everything goes to plan as I was saying I have actually just had a little spray tan I've got a little blow dry in it's not even a little blow dry it's a blow dry <laughs> because I'm heading to the wedding today so I actually ordered the dress in blue as well but I don't think it suits me so I think I'm gonna go with the pink so I'll show you the final look before I finish this vlog just really want to show you this that arrived so you know I said my I had my Elizabeth Arden 20% off code well, they have a new collaboration with Stanley. So if you use code M20, you get this. It works out around £56 for the Stanley with two Elizabeth Arden items. You don't need me to tell you how obsessed I am with Elizabeth Arden. And it's pink. It literally matches my nails by Laura. So I'm so happy. Go into my description box and go and buy that set before it sells out because that's literally the best deal I've seen on Stanley. And you get Elizabeth Arden included. And now to get ready for the wedding. So like I say, I have two colours. I thought the blue was going to be a bit more vibrant. It's not. So I think I might go for this one. But I do also, da, 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 da. it's absolute chaos in here. But I do also have 
this pink one and this pink one which I might wear so I'll quickly show you them and then we can make a decision. Okay so this is a new contender and I just showed Matt and Matt was like I absolutely love it. Don't freak out I know it looks quite white on camera. It's pink. It's actually like really quite pink. It's kind of more like this pink you just can't really tell on camera. It's so cute and it's actually 20 degrees today. I need to brush my hair out so ignore that but this is the new option for the wedding guest dress, potentially. So last time you saw me trying this, it was at home with no hair and no makeup and no tan. And now I've put this on, I thought I liked that pink one, but now I think I like this one. I just think this sits so nicely. Oh my gosh, guys, I wish you could help me, but the wedding is today. Mm, I like the very first pink one that you wore. Mm, da, da, da. See, I, I think like I like the, that one. The baby pink one. Do you? Yeah, because it goes with your tan quite nicely. This is a blue one. It's like a totally different dress. Now I have hair and makeup. When I tried it on the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so pale on me. I want it to be a bit more of a vibrant blue, but actually, I quite like it now. I think I prefer the pink. Matt prefers the first pink I just tried on. I prefer the second pink, but he said the first one goes with my skin tone more. But now I put this on, I do actually quite like this colour. It's giving like Alice in Wonderland vibes. So this is another one that I absolutely love I think I'm going to save this and take this on my trip with me. Matt was like, it's way too fancy for your trip. I was like, no, it's not. Every day is an occasion to dress up. I love it with a necktie. I'm into the pink. So I am now going to choose which one I'm actually going to wear and then I'll finish this vlog when I am fully dressed and ready for the wedding. Thank you for coming home with me. It's been quite a chaotic vlog, but we love the chaos. We thrive in chaos. It is also some sort of house day. The garden is also being almost finished off today. So if you can hear music, that's what's happening. So Matt really likes this one, but everyone else really likes the other pink one. So I'm gonna take both. I'm just gonna take the other pink one in the car and make a decision on arrival. So you will see on Instagram which one I went for. And as always, with all vlogs, everything will be linked below if you do want any of these outfits. But thank you for coming along to a chaotic vlog. This is the final, well, hair and makeup and then I'm going for these little shoesies which are probably not going to be that comfy I'm sorry about the mess behind me I've been trying stuff on all day long but thank you if you made it this far I love you so much let me know if you have any weddings coming up this year and I will see you for the next vlog if you're not part of the family please 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 click subscribe now it would mean so much to me and I will see you for the next one bye guys <laughs>